Today's video, I have a real treat for you guys. I got one of the all-time great lightweight champions of all time. Defended his title eight times. He was a two-time lightweight champion in the world. He also fought for the Junior Welterweight Championship of the world. And I trained him from 1997 to 2003 through his title, lightweight title reign. And also trained him in 2012 to 2014. None other than the Pittsburgh kid, Paul Spadaforo. All right, we Paul here today with me. We're gonna show you some real South Paul tricks. Now, what we're gonna talk about today is how Paul would take a guy's and smother a guy's left hook. And it come down to what I always talk about, what he was so good at is the foundation that he had the foundation that he had with his fundamental, his basic body mechanics from the start. His head was over his like over his left hip, okay? And the inside of his right left right hip, right. his right shoulder was higher than his left shoulder, okay? And that's where he would start. So he could always give it to you and, and take it away from you because that was his base though. That was his strength, that was his body mechanics. Like in other words, and he would always angle, okay? He was always keeping himself half man. He was a big lightweight. So like if I threw a left hook, he could roll with it, okay? And then he could make me try to want to get closer to him because of it. A lot of the guys he fought were shorter, but even guys who were his height, he always knew how to keep a, a great angle. And he was always in that position to start, to bait guys to do things. And then he would, he would switch off of it. So today what we're going to talk about is a guy's trying to get closer to him and a guy's going to throw a right hand and a left hook or a guy's going to throw a left hook. And how he would do... What a lot of people don't realize is he would fall to the inside and smother the guy's left hook. Okay, instead of in, instead of dipping under it, instead of rolling away from it, he would fall into it and and get on the inside of it. So if I'm here with him and I and I'm and I would square up, or even if I was here and I try to throw a right hand, he might slip the right hand there. What he does there from there, he, he's turning his waist clockwise when he does that slip. Okay. Now, when I go to throw the left hook, he's gonna step with that foot and he's gonna turn his waist counterclockwise and go into my hook. See that, he just bumped my hook off. So I throw the right hand and then he bumps my hook off. So I'm throwing, he's throwing the right hand, going to throw a hook and he's bumping, see, he's, I'm, he's on the inside, but now he, that's it. Now he can make all, he can do all kinds of things from there, okay? So I throw the right hand, that's it. Oh, now he's got me on the inside. Just a beautiful, beautiful move. And like I said, the body mechanics of that is he's making me reach with the right hand to start with because he's got that shoulder point. Like I could roll, and he looks like a hook. Let's say I throw a left hook. So the first time I'm like, oh, this guy's rolling with that hook. I gotta get a little closer. Now I go to throw the hook and, I, and he just bumps, goes right to my shoulder. He's going right to my shoulder and cutting that thing off. That's it. Right to the, between the shoulder and the pack. That's it. And then he could throw a hook even on the inside of that. See, he could go here, bump me here, and boom. Or he could come with his right uppercut on the inside. That's it. See? And then, or, like, what he could do is he could pivot out and get an angle. Once he bumps me up, now he's got that angle. And he's circling to the right. What a lot of people talk about is, you know, always worried about where their feet position is. But what would happen with Paul is if he's keeping that angle and he's dropping that shoulder trajectory, where he, his head is back there on his left hip. My thing is, is I'm trying to hit him with a lead right hand. I would, sometimes when I'm here like that, if I go this way and I try to get to the outside, he's got that point on. So my thing is a lot of times I would try to go this way to land that. I can't land at him because I'm too far away and he could just pivot away. He could even just pivot away without, without even turning this way. He could just pivot, just drop that pivot without even turning though. He could just drop to a pivot. That's it, see? Just pivot. I'm saying without, without even turning this way first, you just pivot. See what I mean? Like Pernell used to do. Yeah. yeah. So Pernell Whitaker was very, very good at that. What Pernell used to do, not throw the right hand, he just pivots away. Right off of it, okay? Because he's so far away, because he's got his he's half a man, he's got this shoulder pointing, his left shoulder, his weight is back on the back foot. I'm throwing the right hand. I can't figure a way. If I go this way on him, he can just keep he can just turn, see? I'm gonna go this way on and try to throw the right hand. He's just gonna that's it. See, and if I try to throw, the, if I try to throw the, if I throw the right hand, and then I, yeah, see, and then he could ride back in on the hook. So he did a lot of masterful things with that. So it's like, I throw a right hand, 
Then I go to, yeah, I can throw right hand, throw left hook. So that's about right hand, throw left hook. That's it. He's on the inside of it. So he's slipping, slipping, God, that's it. Okay? So that's just a great, great move. You guys want to go into the gym, you want to work on that repetitiously. Try it and spar. It's not going to happen overnight. So don't forget to comment below. Let me know what you guys think of the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.